Chinja. Thank you, sir. Chinja. Maitiro. Maitiro. Chinja. Yakuana Wete Kutongwa. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's time for us to be led, not to be ruled. Yeah. Yeah. This poem is called Awake Zimbabwe. Awake. Awake Zimbabwe. Awake. Flex your dystrophic muscles, you proud daughter of Africa. Awake and yawn out of the infinite slumber. Stretch your docile limbs and yank yourself off that lumber. Break the chains that oppressively shackle you, mind. Free yourself from the pains that suppressively vice you in a bind. Conscientize Zimbabwe. Stand up. Criticize Zimbabwe. Speak up. Visualize Zimbabwe. Get up. Strategize Zimbabwe. Rise up and break up. Mobilize Zimbabwe. Pick up your courage and fight on. Take your giant brave move to shake the tree with a hornet's nest. Break the rules in order to pass this test. Make these your lost sheep. Open their eyes and rebel against shepherds adorned with horns and fork, against leopards disguised amongst the flock. For how long shall they muzzle the ox on trading ground? How strong are they to scramble the jigsaw puzzle and they ask the child of Chimurenga not to cry? How strong can these ticks hold their bite as they guzzle on our blood and burp in our faces? Awake, Zimbabwe, I said, awake. Find your rightful peace in the land of your birth. Reclaim your stolen dignity, Zimbabwe. Proclaim your abused humanity, Zimbabwe, of your liberation legacy. Acclaim your corroded affinity to your own Zimbabwe. Affirm your nationality. It's our birthright. Shall we dance to the Shangara, to the rhythm of the Mbakanga, or rattle the shakers to the muffled hum of a torn drum? We have lost the rhythm in our feet because they change the sound of our music beat. Can we let our song continue to play in this discord? I say we arise, Zimbabwe, arise and redress their hunger for yet more infinite power and stress their desire to scoop lion share portions to satisfy the insatiable greed while they plop in our empty plates pathetic rations to a nation that begs to feed. I say it awake, Zimbabwe awake, this milk has since turned sour. Spill it, Zimbabwe, I say it, spill it. Time has come close to that hour to say no to unpalatable replications for our stolen votes, rigged elections. No to indescribable complications, shortages of basic goods and services, endless queues. No to strategic redistribution, land grabbings, reclamations, these unreasonable retribution of an unappeased colonial ghost. Unfantable war. Unfantable war. Operation. Yes, Oko. Wow. Ah. <laughs> Unfantable uh, operation. Whose filth? What filth? Relocation. The displacement of our people from their own Zimbabwe Mabwe their house of stone, forced into these diasporas they've now gone, into exile, away from their own, no to uncountable invocation for aid, protection, and inspiration. No, no, no more. Follow the roaring Mondoro's echo. Feel the tremor of the Nyami Nyami, that river god. Listen to the Zimbabwe's first desperate cuckoo within the dry skies, beyond the smoke that thunders. Sekuruga Kuhuvi, Kumbare Shumba, the lion spirit from Chikwaka's cow in Boromonzi Hill. Why do you sleep too long, spirit medium of the Kawoza, leader of Guru Uswa, progenitor of the Rosary Empire, champion of the first Chikurenga fire, founder of this Rosary dynasty, 
Why do you allow your flock to be led astray to, feel, to feed on empty fields of dry corn before they are herded to the slaughter by their very own? Cause these cattle to move again. The ghost to bleed once more and for the cockerel to crew. Within your never drying sacred pool at the Mpuli River, send your messenger to the great spirit Mukwati who lives in the caves in Matopos to rid Zimbabwe of these locusts that have destroyed the family's harvest. Send your roaring message throughout the shriveled lands. Awake Zimbabwe as they awake. It's time to pick up the spear and drop the hole. Today we have different seeds to sow. Neanda, Charwe Nyakaskar, daughter of Mutota Nyatsima, the first ruler of this Munumtapa state. Please attend to our immediate needs and put the names on that sacred slate. Shikiro, meet spirit medium of the Zezuru, the Shona people. Orate your pronouncement for a sound mind and dynamic brain to produce good crops and a healthy grain to nourish your impoverished children by eliminating this scourge of greed. Do your sacred dance to ensure your spirit reign. Your death germinated this seed that gave birth to Zimbabwe. Exterminate their flaming egos, their underwear, and pluck those stuck on superficial thrones, Kaguyoe. Dismantle the chains that imprison the child of Chimurenga, Mkwatiwe. Unveil their fears and give them the courage to speak up and punch back. Bless them with the power to stand up and kick back. The spirit to wake up and fight on. Because I said awake, Zimbabwe awake. The best before date has now passed over to. This product has since expired. Forget the loss. Anticipate the freedom and the liberty to grow and to soar. Awake, you prisoners of starvation. Thank you.